Hey everybody, this is Craig Cuddle from Nature Reliance School. In this particular video here today, we're going to tell you and show you how to gain some added life to any military poncho or tarp that you might have. Uh, if you're utilizing tarps and ponchos, they'll oftentimes come with a coating on them that's made out of silicone. And that silicone coating wears off. So basically, we're going to show you what you can do for that. There's any number of products out there that are available to you. And you can go to backpacking stores and get this type of um, product, which is basically a silicone spray or gel. And oftentimes that'll be pretty expensive. So just go to a discount store, a hardware store, and you'll find the same thing, basically in the paint section. And sometimes you'll find it in the outdoor section. But basically this particular case, and I've used several of these, and they all basically work the same way. I've got a Scotch Guard outdoor silicone water shield, and I'm not, I'm not selling this product, I'm just telling you this is one that you can buy. Basically what you want to look for is something that doesn't have a high fl flammability content to it. And in that way, once you put the silicone gel on it, you want to, if you get close to fire, you don't want it to catch fire. And so some of these silicone sprays will have a high flammability content to it. So you want to stay away from those. I also look for stuff that recommends you only put one coat. Uh, I usually put two coats anyway. But uh, one of the best things you can do is find one that only requires one coat because it should sink in a little bit better. So your first order of business is to get your tarp, lay it out in a place where you're going to get a lot of direct sunlight to it. Uh, I picked this field. A lot of people do this in their driveway because they can keep it real flat. Uh, but I find it a little bit easier to do it out here. Basically, I've staked it down on all four corners. And then I'm just going to go down the tarp and spray this uh, silicone spray on it and cover it up as best I can. What's going to happen in the sun is going to help to uh, heat up the tarp so that it soaks it in. And in that way, the whole material is impregnated with it rather than just a coating on the top. So it's taken me only a couple of minutes to get half of it done. What you want to do is take good care right around the hood. So I spend a lot of time, because this is obviously what's going to be covering your head. I spend a lot of time spraying down the hood, particularly right along the seams to make sure that those seams are covered really, really well. And then move on. And just like that, I have a fresh coat of silicone on this tarp. And basically, this is a military poncho, so I spent a lot of time around the seam around the hood. Made sure that I put a lot of silicone around the edge to help preserve the buckling system and the snap system on this poncho. And now, basically, all I need to do is sit here and let it dry. So the time it takes to dry the silicone that's on this poncho varies depending upon the product and so follow the directions on the back of the can but basically from experience this is going to take just a little less than an hour uh, depending upon the weather if it's really hot if i was doing this in the summertime uh, it would be even faster but where it's cool out here but it is getting direct sunlight still going to work so uh, make sure that you get any type of product that has silicone in it because that's going to serve to be the best barrier for rainwater the last thing that I want to add is that basically the products are virtually the same but what you get when you get a name brand product is like in this case Scotchgard which is a well-known name is not necessarily that you're going to get the best silicone treatment you can get the same silicone treatment out of a another can actually you're probably getting the same exact stuff in another can uh, but what you do get is the research and development that they've put into the nozzling device and so uh, a brand like Scotchgard has a lot of effort and money invested in making sure that when you spray that it continues to come out. Uh, a no-name brand doesn't have all that research and development, so they go with the least possible, least expensive nozzling apparatus, and sometimes they get clogged up real easy. And So it has been my experience thus far that you should use a device that uh, 
uh, that is a name brand because of the nozzling. Okay, so basically between this and the other can that I bought to try out, um, uh, I use this. I've used this several times, but the other can I haven't. There was only like 40 cents difference in the whole can, and so it's worth my effort to get the one that's going to spray the whole time and not clog up on me. The other one clogged up on me before I got halfway done with the poncho. So I hope that helps you to preserve some of the ponchos and the tarps. Uh, you've seen me utilize uh, Army ponchos on a very regular basis. I've also got several of the Dan's Depot tarps uh, that I utilize that I bought from them over the years, and some of them they've given to me to try out different, uh, different models of each. Uh, quite frankly, they've got the same silicone treatment on them, and I've never had to redo one of my Dan's Depot tarps, and I've had them since 2008. And so uh, they get used a lot, and so those are really good tarps to buy. Uh, another method that you can go about getting uh, tarps and impregnating them with silicone is you can buy a liquid solution that you don't have to spray and you put it in a bucket and you soak the poncho down in the bucket and let it impregnate the entire fabric of the poncho and in that manner when you pull it out and hang it to dry it gets impregnated all the way through and so that's a fantastic method to utilize too and if we have time I'll probably do that in the near future. In my opinion that's best to do in warm weather so that the solution that is in the bucket is warm so we'll uh, we'll take our time and do that again in the summer this year when we've got more sunlight and warm weather. Me on this real quick methodology on how to impregnate silicone onto your military poncho or your uh, usable tarp and I uh, hope you enjoyed it. <clears throat> Keep in mind that these are tarps that will accept silicone. Some of your more plastic variant type tarps won't. It'll just sit on top of it and as soon as the tarp's folded it won't it won't take. So you want to get usually I use ripstop uh, tarp material. That's what's in these military ponchos and that's in the ones that I helped design for Dan's Depot. So those will help accept the silicone a lot better than something that's just made of 100% plastic. With that said, again, thanks for being here. We appreciate it and hope it's helpful. If uh, you appreciated the, the information that's provided here, then please consider subscribing to our channel. We really appreciate that. Obviously, that helps us out, and that'll help us continue to give out and offer you free advice and information whenever we can. Uh, if you like the video, give us a thumbs up. Share it with everybody that you possibly can, and keep on watching, and we'll regularly be giving some of this stuff away. Thanks for joining us on this little how-to on how to help preserve some of your tarps and military ponchos. It's real simple. We appreciate it. And I hope you've appreciated the video and the information we've provided. If you did, then please consider subscribing to our channel, and that'll help us tremendously get a lot of followers so that we can continue to pump out information. If you'll look below, you'll see a link where um, you can get into a free giveaway for one of the Dan's Depot tarps that I mentioned in this particular video. So jump in on that, and that way you can help us, and we'll continue to help you. Until next time, come on, join in, and let's learn together.